Fine needle aspiration. We should sit at the level of the patient, finding a relaxed position for ourselves and a comfortable position for the patient. Incorrect positioning may compromise the success of the needle harvesting. The procedure is performed by one examiner, who should hold the probe and the needle in order to synchronize his movements. One mind, two hands. Dim lighting is preferred, but the examiner should have a good visualization of the needle when entering the skin. Monitor positioning is also essential in order that he see the probe, the needle and the monitor with only a slight movement of the head. A second person is necessary to handle the ultrasound machine and documentation of the procedure. We only use a small amount of gel, just enough to cover the probe, since the excess would make the area slippery and our hands may move unintentionally. Before we start, we should locate the lesion and try to immobilize it in its greatest diameter in the middle of the screen. If you prefer, you can move the lesion one to two centimeters from the tip of the probe to minimize the travel of the needle. Always make sure that the edge of the probe is cephalad caudal oriented if possible. With our non-dominant hand, we hold the transducer firmly over the lesion with enough pressure to immobilize it, but not too much as it will obscure the shadow of the needle. With the dominant hand, we can infiltrate the skin and underlying tissue with lidocaine 2%, with or without adrenaline, following the estimated needle track. We use a 21G needle with a chemical pistol and a 20 milliliter syringe. The pistol minimizes the possibility of inadequate sampling and makes it easy to apply enough pressure single-handed. The needle should be inserted horizontally as parallel to the probe as possible in order to have a good visualization of the needle. We insert the needle without traction to the lesion and then we apply suction and move the needle back and forth in the lesion in a fan-like motion 10 to 20 times. That way we will get samples from all parts of the lesion. We save the procedure in images with the needle in the lesion pre and post needle passage. We prefer to save the procedure in a video which documents the accuracy of the positioning. Once we have enough sampling in our hub, we remove the needle from the breast without suction. Then we disconnect the syringe and aspirate some air. And then we connect the needle again and we express the material onto glass slides. A second slide is used to smear the aspirated material and then fixate it according to our cryptologist's suggestion. We use fixation spray and then a small amount of cytolite for thin prep fixation. If we think the smear is inadequate, we can repeat the procedure.